Hi guys, it is the last week of the declutter challenge and it is day 21. Um, so this week is actually going to have eight days because my first week only had six days um, just because I wanted to post them on Mondays. So today I am in our guest bedroom, which is very small. Actually, I'm going to flip the camera around. And my project today is to work underneath this bed because this is a ottoman bed. So it raises up and there is storage underneath. And my husband's parents just came to visit and they left um, a bit of storage stuff for us because they are in Spain for most of the year now. Um, so I'm going to try to get that to fit under the bed after I clean everything out. So wish me luck. So this is what underneath the bed looks like. Um, I'm just going to do one side because as you can see it's split into two sections. So I'll do this side today. And I will do this side, I don't know when, but some other day this week, because I have to do this when my daughter is not around. Um, so when my husband is watching her. Um, so I'm going to start over here, like I said. Some of the things in here belong to my husband's parents from other times they've been here. So probably eventually this entire bed will be full of their stuff. But um, So I can't get rid of any of that stuff, but I will do my best with the other bits. I do have a lot of baby stuff in storage in here and I think I can actually go through that and condense it down because originally, let me go back to me, originally when I stored that stuff I just like shoved everything in there but I'm sure there's things in there that I just don't even care to keep. So instead of waiting until I have another baby to go through it and get rid of things, I can just do that now. All right, this is the after. It looks quite packed still but it is very organized. I've got my baby stuff and maternity stuff that's in storage. I've got some extra um, towels because we do not have a linen closet. So I've got um, extra towels and bed linens and then I've got more baby stuff, um, some Halloween costumes that I'm holding on to, um, so a pair of dress shoes that I don't wear unless I'm going out. So I don't keep them in my shoe closet. Um, that's Duncan's gym bag. That is a bag with some bathing suits and whatnot in it. This is our folding bed, um, and then this is Duncan's parents' stuff. So this is very organized and easy to get to. I am very happy. Oh, yeah, duh, I didn't even say. So I ended up doing this side just because it was quick and easy, and a lot of the stuff that was on this side kind of shifted over to this side, so that's good. And I like that I have all of his parents' stuff in one spot. And here is everything that I am getting rid of. I got a couple bits to list on eBay. Um, this is a bag full of like lingerie kind of bits that will probably never fit me again. But honestly, regardless, I won't be wearing them. Um, these are a couple pairs of dress shoes that I just don't wear dress shoes that are that uncomfortable anymore. Um, that is an old ratty towel, um, honestly. This towel we bought really, really cheap while my husband and I were on like a really long honeymoon in Thailand. We were there for a few months. And honestly, we probably never should have even brought it back home with us. I don't know why we did because it was like super cheap, like a couple dollars or something. And it served its purpose while we were there. But why do I still have it? I don't know. Um, a bunch of bathing suits that will never fit me. Look how ridiculously small these cups are. And look how ridiculously small these bottoms are. Like, this has got to be a joke, right? I can't believe that I have such tiny little bathing suits. That definitely is not going to be worn on me anymore. Um, and then I've got some other bits that are going to be donated. So, yeah, that is a pretty good haul. All right, and this is my after. Um, I got rid of quite a bit of my nail polishes, so I might try to figure out a better way to organize this so I don't have just like all this wasted space, um, but I'll get back to that another day. This is a declutter project, not necessarily an organizing one. There wasn't anything in this drawer that I wanted to get rid of because I do kind of have like just important papers and whatnot in here, but I am glad that I went to declutter this drawer because guess what I found? I found 50 pounds just in an envelope in this drawer that I forgot I had there. So sometimes it can be really good to declutter. You never know what you might find. And then this is my pile of um, bits that I'm getting rid of. Oh, I lied. There were a couple bits in this drawer that I'm getting rid of, but mostly it's all like nail polishes and like nail paraphernalia that I want to get rid of. So my next project is Riley's closet. 
And I'm going to say that a big disclaimer is that this looks super empty because one of the things I like to do is um, as she wears her outfits, I just throw them in this drawer. Well, after they've been washed, this is all clean. But um, I like to do that so that she cycles through all of her outfits, if that makes sense. And then once it gets kind of threadbare like this, I hang up all her clothes in outfits again. Um, but at this point, I'm sure she's got plenty of things in here that do not fit her. So I need to pull out the things that don't fit her and set that aside. And then just clean up these little bits too. The other day I was working on Riley's closet and I never got to finish it. So I did hang up all of her clothes into outfits. I'll actually flip the camera around and show you while I talk. Yeah, so as you can see, I like to hang the pants that she's gonna wear with an outfit um, over her shirts just so it's easier to get her dressed in the morning. Um, but I didn't get to any of this. Um, the drawer is still a mess, but I did pull out the things that she is not going to be wearing anymore. So that stuff is all in there. Um, this stuff I just need to organize, but I did pull stuff for the declutter part. Um, so I'm just gonna finish organizing this part up and then I'm also going to declutter um, this drawer here, which is just like really random, as well as um, these little bits down here that I didn't get to. Okay, this is my trash pile for today. Well, it's not all trash, but it's various bits that are going one way or another. Um, this is mostly stuff that I'd gotten rid of the other day. Um, there's a few random things that I just chucked in there from today. I don't know why I chucked it in there. But um, that is my to-go pile. Usually I show you my afters before I do this. So let me show you my afters. I'm a bit backwards today. So this is the after on the closet. Um, which, by the way, Riley has this really cute traditional Korean outfit. How cute is that? It was a hand-me-down from her cousin. Um, came from Korea. Can't wait till she fits into that. But anyway, back to the after. That is her closet, all cleaned out. I've just got some muslins that I keep that are really big that we use as blankets in the summertime because they're really light. Um, underneath that, I've got some shoes that were hand-me-downs that don't fit her yet. I've just got a couple of carriers in here. Sorry, it's so dark. Um, that is her bath towel and then her bath, um, the washcloths I use for her bath. Just some random like massage oils and a comb. Her red book. Red book in England is like basically the baby's medical history kind of. Like every time you go to the doctors, you bring their med, their red book. Um, clothes. These are clothes that I'm holding on to that will um, be for summertime. And then this is stuff that um, won't fit her until next winter. Um, I've got her tights, um, headbands, even though she doesn't really wear them very often. But, you know, I don't want to get rid of them yet. I don't know why. Um, a couple of hats for when it's um, not so cold out and she doesn't need, like, heavy hats. Tutu. These are shirts that she does wear now, but I use them as undershirts, so I don't hang them up. And then this is the drawer that I just organized today. It's pretty much empty. Everything is going, with the exception of these are extra bed linens, which are all wrinkled. But this is this is real life. I don't iron my bed linens, do you? Um, and that's it for today. All right, guys, it is day 28 of the declutter challenge, which is the last day of the declutter challenge. And I have three days worth of decluttering to catch up on. So this is day 26, 27, and 28, all in one, which is a lot of stuff to declutter. And I'm chasing a baby who's running around outside. So part of the problem with decluttering is that I've been putting aside things that are decluttered and somebody <laughs> just shoves it in the garage because it can't bear to get rid of anything even though we don't use it. I've got my work cut out for me in here.
Hi guys, I wanted to just film a quick ending to this video. My husband actually ended up decluttering the garage, um, which is more than fair because it is his domain. Um, but also because of that, there is not like a before and after because there isn't like this magnificently clean garage after. Uh, the garage is always going to be a mess. Like I said, it's his domain. He can do what he wants with it. I can moan at him all the time, but it'll never be clean. I did try to go in there and help him organize and clean, except my 16 month old kept running straight out of the garage and into the street. So I ended up just going inside with her and letting him do his thing. But he did declutter loads and I'm really proud of him because he's really good at holding on to things. And the funny thing is, is a lot of the stuff or most of the stuff that he got rid of, like what you would have seen in the previous clip, um, a lot of that wasn't even our stuff to begin with. It was stuff that like his parents, when they moved, they gave us and they were like, oh, don't you want this? Or you should try to eBay this, that kind of stuff. So it just ended up never even being taken out of the boxes. You know what I mean? Like it just went straight into the garage and it's been like that. So it's nice to get rid of things and to have a cleaner life. Um, I'm actually really happy with how the declutter challenge went inside of the house because basically when we first moved into this place, it was just a year ago and my daughter was very young um, and I just didn't have the time to even ever think about where I was putting things and a lot of things really got thrown into spots and they just stayed there um, and it just got worse and worse as time went on because the messes just got worse and worse as I was just trying to deal with my everyday chores and if it was out of sight, it was out of mind for real, as you guys saw. Um, and now things are organized and cleaned and that's like a really big incentive for me to keep it clean. So I have done really well in maintaining that. Um, I will also update at the beginning of the month, I had um, decluttered my kitchen and I showed a bunch of food that I had put off to the side. I have eaten everything. There is one packet of, um, they're dates, but they're not dates. They're like what Koreans call dates. Um, and I just don't know what to do with them. So like, that's like the only thing that I haven't eaten from that big massive pile of food that I wanted to eat by the end of the month. Um, and I probably will just throw that bag away because the month has come and gone and I couldn't figure out a way to get rid of it. Um, without like just throwing it away. So now I am just gonna throw it away. Um, but I'm really glad that I did, I was able to work the rest of those food items into our meals um, and use them. Cause now I don't feel like I had to have wasted them. I hate wasting food. That's like a big peeve of mine. So yeah, I'm really happy. This was like a really successful challenge for me. I am very grateful to Ashley at Semi Crunchy Mama who started this challenge. Um, she is actually the person who came up with this idea and formed a little group of us. Um, I am going to link down below our um, playlist for Ashley and then there's another mom who also posted videos in this challenge. So I will link that playlist down below. Definitely check them out. They are both beautiful, amazing, wonderful women. Um, yeah, so I'm really glad I took part in this and now my big project this month is just to clean the house because basically I normally am pretty good at at least keeping things clean whether or not they look tidy in the house is one thing but I try to keep things at least clean because like there is a standard for cleanliness right well because I was so focused on organization like cleanliness has gone a bit out the door and it's definitely not as clean as I would like to be in the house so now I'm going to focus on staying clean um, since everything is nice and organized and tidy and it does streamline like how I do things, like having things be so organized. So that feels good. So I'm going to clean my house this month, but I'm not going to do a whole series on that. I'm just going to clean my house. But thank you so much for joining me on this adventure if you've been watching these videos and I hope you enjoyed them and I hope you will come back and watch more videos on my channel. Bye guys.